Hey guys, back again with another can review. Today we're checking out Ford Hammond Dominion's Backstage IPA. Backstage IPA. This is a 6%, I think, yeah, 6% IPA. Um, it's got a lot of guitars on the can, and uh, it reads, Backstage IPA presents a dense tan head with underlying caramel sweetness that paves the way for pine and citrus hop flavors that perk up the palate. Brilliantly clear and masterfully balanced, this beer is well organized and easy on the tongue. Brewed in Dover, Delaware. I think they were Fordham first, or Fordham was in Annapolis, Maryland. And then they decided to merge at some point with Dominion Beer, or Dominion Brewing in Ashburn, Virginia. Yeah. They have a, a long and storied history. It says on the can, since 1995, a mid-Atlantic tradition. Okay. I like the look of the can. It's like a slim 12 ounce can. Yeah, that's I think what drew me to it yeah. in the first place was actually the, the the way you can grab the can. It's really tall and but like thin. This is a 12 ounce can, but it looks like kind of like a, I don't know, it's just easily grabbable. I think that was cool. So I was like, we gotta try that. I like the artwork on the can too. I like the coloring. I like, I just like how it looks. It looks cool. Well, so, I like the look of this beer. Yeah, it does look really good. It looks almost like an amber ale. Yeah, with like a little bit more on like the heavy orange, like a red orange in yeah, there. Yeah, it's like a deep, deep copper mm -hmm. color. Ah, oh, smells getting, malty. Yeah, malt. I think the malt is a key player on the aroma there for sure. Why is it called a backstage IPA? Uh, it says it cleans up well. Uh, citrus, pine, hot flavors that perk up the palate. Okay, well, we're gonna find out. Cheers. Cheers. Yeah, definitely roasty malt, caramel. Mm -hmm. Not as sweet as I guess I was assuming it would be. It's that bitterness really kind of cancels out any kind of remote sweetness you had on your palate. You get it initially, but then yeah, the bitterness kind of takes it away. It is kind of bitter. It is, it's actually quite bitter. Yeah, we don't say no IBUs or anything on here, so I couldn't really say Definitely lingers on the roof of your mouth. It does, it does. I really like that roastiness though. Yeah, it's, it's a really unique maltiness quality to it. It's like, it's not quite a honey sweetness. Maybe they like over malted it to give it also that color, that yeah. deep color. Um, but it's, it's not quite like a honeyness, definitely caramel, but there's a kind of like a woodsy quality to it almost, like an oakiness. It's very prominent and that gives it all of its like woody and smokiness flavors, and yeah, I'm getting more caramel than I am getting honey. Yeah, there's no honey in there. Yeah. It's definitely a different, it's a different flavor. But yeah, that citrus hop, uh, yeah. I'm getting more pine out of it, yeah. like it says. I'm definitely getting like that kind of like almost, That is like it reminds me of trees. It reminds me of Christmas, like pine needles. <laughs> this definitely remind the bitterness definitely reminds me of like, the classic stone IPA from like back in the day. Like the old school one? Yeah, yeah, where it just like, it just like hangs out in the back of your mouth like the whole time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure. Which I don't, I don't know. I don't really like that anymore in a beer when it just, the bitterness lingers too much. Yeah. It's not too bad. But I wish it wasn't <laughs> as prominent. Like it's definitely got that malty thing going on in the sweetness and the complexity of the malt, but you know, the bitterness is, is just, I can't get over that. I still like, really bitter West Coast style IPA beer, so I still like it. I think this one's like, okay. Yeah. I wouldn't mind trying more of their stuff though. I mean, I would definitely drink this if given the opportunity, but something I would buy again? Uh, yeah, maybe not. I don't know, it depends. Like if I'm in the mood for like a really bitter beer, like mm -hmm. a really bitter West Coast style IPA, yeah, I would do it. But uh, I don't know. The trend for us these days is to go for the softer kind of mouthfeels and the, you know, the less bitter side of things. We're a Hayes family now. Yeah. 
There's nothing we can do about that. Um, I'm sure that we're gonna find some more. I saw another couple cans of theirs on the shelf and I don't remember what they were. I think one was a lager and I was kind of disinterested in that one because like we had a ton of lagers at the time. Um, and then the other one was something, maybe it was a pale ale, I don't know. Hmm. It was something. Um, but if I could find like a wheat beer or something, or maybe a porter, because now it's getting a little colder, I would absolutely buy that and we would put that on the channel for sure. There's um, there's an espresso stout that Dominion makes. I'm not sure if it's the same mm. Dominion, because um, Dominion also d does the root beer. Yeah, they brew their own root beer. Yeah. But these guys do too. They said So that I'm they... not sure if it's the same Dominion. I don't know. But That's a good question. I remember that espresso stout being quite good. Okay, huh. Well, maybe we can try to find that. Yeah. All right, guys, well, that does it from us. If you're interested in more craft beer reviews or beer event coverage, please be sure to subscribe and click that little bell icon to stay notified when new videos come out. Until next time, stay crafty. Cheers. Cheers.